Hello and welcome to module four of the ITIL4 Service Desk Practice Certification Training. Module four is about the information and technology dimension of the service desk practice. In the exam, there may be questions about how information and technology support and enable the practice. Describe which activities have high dependency on the automation tools and know how to use or apply the key tools functionality required to automate the practice. So by the end of this module, you will be able to explain what information is needed for effective service desk practice and also explain functional requirements for the service desk automation tools. Here we have the information needed for effective service desk practice. This can be from various areas such as information about users, information about the services, including the service catalog and request catalog and the service levels, information about the knowledge management systems, the planned and executed changes, change schedule, and the possible impacts of changes, partners and suppliers, including information on the services they provide, the policies and requirements which regulate service provision, stakeholder satisfaction with the practice as well. And this information may be available in various forms and formats through various channels for the service desk when they perform their process activities. Automation. The practice can significantly benefit from automation. Automation means it refers to the use of digital technology to enable, support, or enhance various activities from an ITIL perspective, that is. So this includes, but not limited to the full automation of activities where technology solutions remove the need for human intervention. We see here some of those automation tools listed, such as the workflow management and collaboration tools, uh, which include the user query or the ticket management tools. These can include integrated ITSM toolset, enterprise level workflow engine, collaboration systems such as messengers and conferencing platforms. Then we have the work planning and prioritization tools, which include Kanban boards, project management tools, uh, scheduling tools, which are also integrated into other systems or can be standalone. Then we have the analysis and reporting tools, um, uh, which can be integrated into other systems such as ITSM systems or can be standalone. And we have the survey tools as well, which can also be integrated or be standalone. So let's understand those tools more clearly as to what for what purpose they may be applied in the service desk practice. So we begin with the workflow management and collaboration tools. These can be useful for management of user query records, communication between the agents and the users, integration of the practices into the service value streams, and communications between specialists in the service value streams. Work planning and prioritization tools. Uh, this is for the planning purposes and tracking of improvement activities. Analysis and reporting is for the practice measurement and reporting. On this one, we need to be cautious. Uh, here in the analysis and reporting, it is not used for tracking. If you notice the previous one, the work planning and prioritization is used for planning, prioritization, as well as the tracking of the improvement initiatives. So just be cautious with that in the exam. The survey tools are used for collecting user feedback for service improvement and also the feedback for practice improvement. Here we have a short activity for you, which you can try on your own. Usually this is tried in a group setting with a certain amount of time given to the delegates in the classroom. And you have to do this from your own environment, from your own work environment or your practice as an ITIL, IT service management professional. So you can, for example, identify the key tools that uh, your organization uses and the functionality of each tool for the service management that is, for the service desk practice in particular, and also suggest the most suitable tools uh, you know in the market for the services practice and dis discuss the possible challenges of automating the practice. You can also use the, the table 5.2 from the service desk practice guide as a reference uh, for your uh, possible answers. Then we have some recommendations for uh, automating uh, the service desk. This can be applied when you want to automate the service desk. Um, we have the design for the value streams. 
So this means the service desk as a point of contact provides interface to various value streams. It has little value when implemented and automated in isolation. Even, in, uh, even if the, at the beginning of the integration, it is limited to handling of incidents and service requests, ensure that the wider integration with other practices is also supported by the automation system. Second, make it omni-channel, meaning ensure that the tool set supports seamless integration with multiple communication channels like social media, email, phone, uh, in-app chats, corporate collaboration systems, etc. Uh, it is not necessary that you activate all available channels at once, but make sure that the integration is possible. Then pay attention to measurement and reporting from the beginning. Ensure uh, visibility of the service disk management workload uh, through this uh, status of the query, satisfaction of the users. Make sure that the current status information is available on a dashboard and analytical reports can be generated and presented as well. Ensure that the self-help capabilities of the system are available and convenient, which means the user-facing interfaces should be clear, easy to use, informative and customizable to meet the needs of the organization and specifics of different queries. Ensure the usability for all meaning uh, all the service provider facing interfaces should be friendly, convenient, and efficient. The service desk agents spend all or most of their work time in the system. Therefore, it should be convenient to work with. So the ensure usability of all means it's more for the service desk uh, agents uh, because they will be using the tool all the time. Then leverage machine learning capabilities. And uh, this can significantly help the or assist the self-help experience for users, uh, such as query categorization for the service desk agents. So we conclude with the key learning points here, which are effectiveness of the service desk depends on the quality of information. It is important that the information is relevant, up-to-date and complete. The practice also depends on the quality of the tools used and uh, just an integrated ITSM system alone is not enough. It has specific requirements for the service desk practice itself, which should be as part of the integrated ITSM system. It is important to understand the functional requirements supporting the various activities of the service desk in the context of the service value streams and integration is important. Meaning the usage of the tools and the automation depends on the, the activities performed by the service desk. So it's time for a quiz again with a couple of questions coming up in an exam style. The first question here is, a service provider aims to ensure integration of service desk into user-facing value streams. Which software tool will help the service provider to achieve this? A, work planning and prioritization tools. B, analysis and reporting tools. C, survey tools. D, workflow management and collaboration tools. The question specifically is targeted towards ensuring integration of the service desk into user-facing value streams. So the integration is a key word there. Hope you got it. So A, the work planning and prioritization is for the planning and tracking of improvement initiatives and also the prioritization of those initiatives. Analysis and reporting tools uh, this is uh, for the practice measurement and reporting. And the survey tools are for the collection of user feedback. Therefore, the last option D would be correct. The workflow management and collaboration tools. This helps management of the user query records, uh, communications between the service desk agents and users, integration of the practices into service value streams as asked in the question, and communication between specialists in the service value streams. The next question, a service provider delivers services to several customer groups, including internal business customers, external business customers, and individuals of different age and social groups. All users are supported by a virtual service desk team and have access to different communication channels, but usually use more than one. When a user switches to a new communication channel during one query processing, service desk agents ask the user to repeat the same information. How will automation tool sets help to improve this situation? 
A, the tool set should support the end-to-end -end value streams. B, the tool set should have good measurement and reporting capability. C, the tool set should offer convenient self-help interfaces. Or D, the tool set should support omni-channel communications. The question is particularly about the switching to different channels by the user for one query from the user. And the agents are asking the user to repeat the same information again when they come from a different channel each time. So it's an important concept in the services practice and you should be able to identify it easily. But anyway, let's go through the four options. Option A, the tool set should support the end-to-end -end value streams. It is a correct recommendation though, but it is not addressing the given situation. B, the tool set should have good measurement and reporting capability. This is also important, but does not address the concern here. C, the tool set should offer convenient self-help interfaces. Yes, that is also needed, but uh, the important thing for the integration is the option D, the tool set should support omni-channel communications, which means the tool set supports seamless integration with multiple communication channels, such as social media, email, phone, in-app chats, corporate collaboration systems, and more. Though all the available channels may not be activated uh, at the same time, but integration should be made possible eventually. And that brings us to the end of this uh, module and uh, the next one is module 5 which is uh, partners and suppliers and see you in that module thank you